Hi, this is Shah from Podder.net and today we are going to be discussing the most important part of the ROG Zephyrus Duo which is the ROG ScreenPad Plus. Now on the ROG Zephyrus Duo, you have two displays and both are interconnected. You can choose to use the displays separately or you can use them as one. Now the primary display gives you 3840 by 2160 and the secondary display gives you 3840 by 1100. Optionally, you can go for full HD option, which is 1920x1080 on the primary display and 1920x550 on the secondary display. There is a button next to the power button here, which upon pressing it, it turns on or off the ROG ScreenPad Plus. There is an arrow key on the ROG ScreenPad Plus and this brings out the app drawer. You can customize with apps that you prefer. You can add them, you can delete them or you can rearrange them to the grid as you wish. For example, I'll pull out this Photoshop icon from the start menu and pull it inside the app drawer and it just creates a link right inside the app drawer. Now I can hold it and I can rearrange it to another different position and if I do not want it anymore, I can just press on the cross button and it gets deleted. So you can customize it just the way that you want it. There are four applets pre-installed on the ROG ScreenPad Plus. The first one is the Quick Key app. It's a keyboard shortcuts applet that allows you to create single button combos for combination keys. All you have to do is hit the edit button, give it a name, and press the shortcut key. And you're done. The second applet on the ROG ScreenPad Plus is the handwriting applet which is a handwriting recognition applet that allows you to write on it and recognize it into readable text. The third applet is the number key applet, a number applet with some extra keys like backspace and percentage. Considering we have a numpad already on our touchpad, this number key gives you another alternative to input number when you have to use the numpad together with the trackpad. The fourth app is the App Deals app which is a software marketplace that hosts some exclusive deals like 20% Adobe Premiere subscription. On this sidebar, we have several additional options. Let's go through them one by one. The first one lets us adjust the screen brightness. The second one is task groups. Now let me explain a bit about the task groups. What does it do? For example, on my typical usage, I like to leave my browser open I run a File Explorer app and I like to enjoy some of my music with the Spotify app. So I can rearrange them into the grid the way I want it to be and I can keep a snapshot of this from the task groups. So all I have to do is hit the task group button, press the three dots, select the group that I want to assign it to and press this capture button at the bottom. And this will locate the three windows accordingly. Now I can close all the windows. And I can relaunch them at just a single tap. That's interesting. Now the third option on the sidebar allows us to swap the windows between the two displays. By just pressing this button, the primary display will be swapped with the second display and the secondary display will be swapped with the primary display. The fourth option on the sidebar is the App Navigator. Since we will be using the secondary display to multitask a lot, the secondary display might get a little too cluttered and we may want to use an app that is hidden. To do this, press the App Navigator key and select the hidden app to bring it forward. And the fifth option is to disable the physical keyboard. There are times when you might want to be enjoying a movie and your pet may want to join in the fun by sitting on the keyboard. Pressing disable keyboard disables the physical keyboard, allowing you to enjoy your entertainment without disruption. The sixth option on the sidebar are the settings, which allows you to tweak a plethora of tweaks for your ROG ScreenPad Plus. The first one is the ScreenPad Plus brightness that allows you to tweak the brightness of the ScreenPad Plus. Next, we have change your ScreenPad Plus background which allows you to change the background specifically for the ROG ScreenPad Plus. Next, 
We have default window size, which sets the default window size that is opened from the launcher. Next, we have automatically hide launcher button, which hides that little arrow on the side. Next, we have enable organizers for ScreenPad Plus, which turn on window organizer that shows little tabs when you are moving windows around the second display to automatically snap them to organizable sizes. Next, we have enable action menu, which allows you to switch, add, or extend windows across your twin displays. Next, we have enable ScreenPad Plus battery saver. Next, we have set ScreenPad Plus display, resolution and scaling exclusively so you can choose if you prefer 3840 by 1100 or 1920 by 550 resolutions. Finally, we have some learning and quick guides in case you want to learn how things work around here. First, switch it to the other display. Or, add it to the app drawer and switch it to the other display in case you might want to KIV it for the moment. Now, if you realize it, the app moved to the secondary display, but there's a shortcut key for this particular window added inside the app drawer. Or, you can extend it to span both display, which gives you a very immersive experience. The ROG ScreenPad Plus lets you create your favorite environment depending on your usage criteria. Spoil yourself because you have so much space to play around with. Now let me show you an example by creating my favorite environment, which is the design environment. So I have a PSD file here, which will execute the Adobe Photoshop, which is my favorite photo editing software. Now, if you look at this environment, the first thing that you will notice is this is the more common essentials uh, workspace, which is pretty much uh, common to every normal user. But what I want to do is I want to move my widgets around because I have so much space at the bottom. So I can move this widget for the color widget. I can move it here. I can move my layers widget here and pretty much everything that's in Photoshop. But let me show you my final version, which is this. So I have a full workspace at the top screen and on my bottom screen, I have all my widgets which are touch enabled and I can just tweak them here and there. You can also set your environment to a musical oriented one. You can run players, you can run recorders, you can run amplifiers, you can run digital music instruments or anything that lets you flow with your creativity. If you're a content creator, for example, a game streamer, you can run your game on the primary display while assisted by XSplit Gamecaster or OBS or any other streaming application for the case to make your streaming experience more seamless. Of course, if you are a hardcore gamer and gaming is in your DNA, you can run apps like Overwolf to have an overlay on your secondary display that gives you immersive data on the existing game that you are playing to give you an enhanced gaming experience on the Zephyrus Duo. All that and a lot more with the ROG ScreenPad Plus. Your options are limitless. This is Shah from Potter.net signing off. Game on.